Hi, and welcome along to the Bias Premier League show, brought to you today by Boohoo Man, of course. Don't forget, you can get clothing like what we've got on. Summer clothing is wicked. And you can get an extra 10% off by using the code AFTV10 or scanning the QR code on the screen. Do it right now. Brilliant range of summerwear. Yo, yo, bro, where's your summer stuff? (laughs) It's like this guy, you don't want to wear no shorts. You don't want to wear no... They've got all these short sets, all that. What's going on? Well, it's a hot day today. It is. I, I, Who I, you got a sweatshirt on for? I didn't realise it was that hot. Well, I haven't, to be fair, I haven't got any new stuff. So this is the You haven't got one. none of the short sets? No, no, I haven't got none of that. No, I haven't got none of that. Well, you don't want to wear the people no, see no, your no, legs. No, 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 I've, no, I haven't, I haven't got none of, I haven't got none of right, that guys, stuff. Right, guys, no. right, we're going to get an order. We're going to get another order for you, right? Short Just sets. Just get me long sleeve shorts. I expect to see those in next I mean, week. Man said, shorts. Man said get him long sleeve shorts. <laughs> long sleeve shorts. <laughs> man, no, I chose it. It's like a long sleeve t-shirt. No, like, no, 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 you get? What do you mean? Three quarter length? No, no, you never there's, see, so you never leave a long there's sleeve no, t-shirt? There's no sleeves and tro- shorts. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, that's, so I'm how do you kidding. even get long sleeves? I'm just kidding, but I'm saying you got long sleeve the t-shirts, three quarter length. Mm, three quarters. I like that though. This Why, is you don't want people to see your arms? What's wrong? <laughs> I don't have none of that. That's what I'm saying. I don't have none of that. No, I just, I just like the long sleeve. I'm, I'm, I'm long sleeve, man. I don't know this means in Nigeria. This guy, man, like, you know, he'd be wearing clothes like you think it's winter. I'm beach wear this time swimsuit tomorrow. <laughs> swimsuit? But people, believe me, check out swimsuit. some Boo Man's excellent summer stuff. And also they've got yeah. that range that they've just brought out by um, the rapper Gunner as well. So make sure yes. you check it out. Um, yes. Link in the description. Extra the 10% knows, off. Um, guys, you know what? Like, last week when we were talking, was yeah. after the England's first game. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we were saying, all right, the performance weren't the greatest yeah. and all that, but they got the job done and Declan Rice and Saka played all right. Yeah, Kyle. Then they had the second game. We, we were on before that. That was absolutely dreadful against yeah. Denmark. Mm. And nobody played good in that. No. You know, Rice didn't play good. He, he had a poor game, actually. Saka played not great. He was all right. One of the better players, I guess. Yeah, the assist. And it was an all-round awful performance by England, right? And I was giving Southgate a bit of a pass Last after shot. the first game yeah. because I was saying, "Listen, it's the first game." I remember. Much up. But mm. what I saw there, that was absolutely dreadful. Trash. Absolutely dreadful. And now, you know, um, they've got another game coming up on. It was tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. That game yeah, against tomorrow, Slovenia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slovenia. Yeah. They'll still probably get through the group, but they need to win oh. that game to top the group. Mm-hmm. What have you made of is the criticism of, you know, our players in particular? Yeah, so let's focus on Deck and Rice. You got a lot of criticism. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was it deserved? No. Because you, in a game like that, you can't just single out one player. Exactly. It's different if, if like, there was one player making all the mistakes, led to a goal that cost the game or cost the points. It wasn't the case. The whole team played awful. From, from from bench player, uh, from money, everybody was just trash. Not, well, not trash, that's, that's too harsh. They had a bad game overall, yeah? They all had a bad game. We know they're better than that. These like, England players, even the squad that, that they put out there, these are all starting players for their teams, mm. they, their club, for when they play for their clubs. They're all um, playing at the highest level of football. We know they can play. But together on that day, they were worse than the first game. And that's facts. They were worse than the first game. It was awful. It's almost like they scored a the goal and then all of a sudden it was like tools down with that's it. Yeah. We're not working Which no is more. What we we finished. England a lot. Yeah. And and this has to go back to the manager. It has, it has to go to back be. to the manager. And this has is to be. this is where I'm saying it's like it's, yeah, we can criticize the players. They should do, they should have some pride in their selves and say, you know what? All right, even though the manager's saying we gotta do this, we gotta do that, I cannot be out here representing the country like this. I need to step up and, and play to what I know. And if the manager tells me off afterwards, oh well. Yeah. But Southgate, I always said, England's not going to win anything with Southgate. He's not, he's not yeah, good I, I, with well, players like I, this. This like, is so negative, man. I mean, it I is. was watching the game, man. I was like, what is this? Look at the players we've got. Look at the players we've got, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I'm seeing teams like even Austria. right? Georgia. Yeah, yeah, but, but this is Austria. I saw them play the other day. The way they play, man. Yeah. Closing down, pressing on the front foot. Yeah. <clears throat> dynamic. Yeah. Ralph Radnick, the manager, he's oh, with yeah. United. <laughs> playing great football. And I'm, I'm looking at their players. I'm like, they ain't got 
no one as good as Foden. Mm. They ain't got no one as good as Harry Kane, Saka, Rice. I owe Declan. They ain't got no one as good as John Stones. Mm. Ooh, so how, how would they manage to hungry, do that? Hungry players good as well. Right. Turkey. How would, can they play like that and we're playing like this? It's not good enough. Yeah. And then he's making, you know, making even the you know, players like Declan Rice, who we saw every week, 7, 8 out of 10, look bad. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. And he's had a lot of criticism. He's yeah, got he, a lot of he's criticism. Been, he's been targeted a lot. And um, he got a lot. And I, 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 Sort of James McLean. Yeah. He it, used to play for Stoke at that one. Right? It's, 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 it's awful. And there's a lot of players. It's like, it's, it's funny though. It is funny that it's always an Arsenal player. Yeah. Don't you find that strange that, <laughs> that like, there's, there's, there's other players on the pitch, but it's always a now, Arsenal player. To be fair, player. there were other players who got some serious yeah, stick. Yeah, but like, it's uh, always the Arsenal yeah, players. Trent Alexander-Arnold got some serious yeah. stick. And Harry Kane actually got some serious stick. He was actually coming out yesterday moaning about it, wasn't he? Yeah. You, you, you saw Harry Kane moaning about that. I saw, I saw. But the thing is, I think you're saying about um, why can teams play like that. I just think that with England, the, the pressure so much. Oh, I'll shut up. What do you mean shut up? Let me, let me, what do you mean? Let me land, let me land. And the fact is, other teams don't have that pressure. France them. don't have that pressure. No, for, for, Italy don't have that pressure. No, forget about them. Germany is their host. They the ain't got that, that are, pressure. Forget about the ones that want things. Forget about, take out, you've got to take out France, Germany, Portugal, Spain. All the ones that want things. Because England haven't won nothing since 1966. The pressure so much. Now, I do believe the criticism is possibly over the top. And like Yardi said, I would, I would like to know why James McLean is cussing. What, what's he cussing for? So, as you said, when was the last time England won something? 1966. You know the man always said football is coming home. Do you feel like football has <laughs> left so long that it's migrated now? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it's not coming home again. Like, I, just... I, I, I don't know. I think you go back to um, the European Championships and England were so unlucky not to win it. Yeah. So unlucky against Italy. I just, I just not think looking unlucky at the moment. We're looking dreadful. Yeah, but the yeah. thing is, Robbie Yardi, the thing is, you can say that, but they're more or less through. Yeah, so they're is more it, or is less it, through. Is, but is it but that with the bad players though? that they've got, as we said, they should be playing better. They should and be. And these guys making even our players look bad. I mean, Declan Rice had a bad game in the last game. Mm. Now you've got even man like James McLean running at them out yeah, saying what, he's, what, uh, he, uh, he's, he's overrated and all that. Yeah, but when we know he's not overrated, he's exactly. a class player. Yeah, but who, what, why is James between clean talking? What, what made him think that he could talk? Okay, my well, mouth, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, so, <laughs> so I, I've got fists, doesn't mean I can box, does it? Well, you talk like a so can. So you don't song. think he should have said nothing? <laughs> no, 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 no. He can say, you, what it is is that when you're gonna talk, make sure it's constructive and respectful. Because you can't say... Did you see what Mopé right? What did he write? <laughs> he tweeted something about, it's, I guess it's not coming home, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, no, 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 but <laughs> yeah, but then, but then Mopé shouldn't be talking as well, but we, that's what... No, no. You I do, I, I kind of take your point on you know McLean, I mean? man, because he's, he, he, he's just a very, very average player at best. Yeah. If you're a superstar... To be saying that Declan Rice is overrated. Average, what do We've you know? watched him play... Every we can, week, we that guy's not overrated. He's not yeah. overrated. He's not overrated. But when he's been played, asked to play in a system, yeah. but basically he's having to do the work of about you know two players. He has to because you know I mean Trent Alexander Arnold's not a midfield player. No. He's a great player, but he's not a midfield player, right? Mm -hmm. And so he doesn't know how to deal, do the fundamentals of a midfield. So then he's Rice is having to do everything. Everything he gets exactly that. It. That's what happens. That's exactly like, right. We know right. that the guy's a top player. Exactly. He's not under. He's not um, overrated. McLean's exactly. chatting crap. But that's what, that's he's not what overrated. That's what I mean. It, it, it's I, stupid though because like like there's players there that can play in that position. You have midfielders on the bench. But I think it's experimenting. But it's not even like, stop experiment. You're in. You're in the tournament now. Mm. You're in it. I know. Not even that. Look at this here. Yeah? Just an argument. Say he's mm. literally playing all his right backs in one game. You have Trent, mm. you have Walker, and you have Trippier all on the field at the same time. Yeah. You have all your right. So if you needed a right back now, what are you gonna, then you're going to shift people around? Mm. It's like, it's stupid. It don't make no sense. Play, the people, play your best people in that position. If, you, if you're bringing these people to the, 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 if you're bringing them to the Euros, play them in their positions, right? Stop experimenting. You had enough time to experiment. Stop it now. This next game, go with what makes sense, right? And, and the thing about it, you know, it's, you know win. it has yeah, to win. It win. has to win. If if he draws and, and they're playing and they and play rubbish again, it's like, yo. If they get through, so what? I don't think anyone's going to worry about that. I don't yeah, they need that. a big performance, man, for they confidence. They do. I, 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 I think they will. Like I said, but like I said, four points 
is no mean feat. And I mean, you look at Scotland, lucky to Scotland, unlucky to Karen. But uh, look Scotland who's would in love the group. To have look who's in the group. I know that, but it doesn't. It just doesn't always work like that. We're lucky we get that draw against Denmark. It just doesn't work like that. I've, I've, I think possibly, you know, like I said, and also we was doing the watch along. Me and the troublemaker Robbie now. <laughs> He's laughing because he knows that. No, 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 big up Robbie as usual. We was doing it, and if it's true, because we did weren't sure, and Robbie again, most of the things Robbie sa Robbie says is right. He knows already, so it's cool. He said that he couldn't comment. If the fact, what are you booing about? How can you boo when you got four points? That's ridiculous. No, it's not that. Boo if it's you got not minus that. It's four not points. that. They're not booing that. They're boo Let me tell you what they're booing. They're booing the, they're booing the yeah, performance. They're booing the fact that they took their money and spent to go to Germany to watch their country play in a big but tournament. Still... And this is what they... Imagine some people that probably their only game they're going to at the tournament and they went there and watched Possibly, that. Possibly, but they're still on track to qualify. Yeah, but listen, well, when they, they think of the players they've got and yeah, not, yeah, like yeah, to see yeah. such a crap performance, they've had enough. It's, it's, it's not it's just like, the it's one like, game. It's, it's like, Ty, Ty, imagine the fans of Arsenal, right, mm. who live all around the world, right, and they save up and they get tickets to come to one game of the season. They don't know which game they get, mm. but we get to come here to watch Arsenal. And they come and they go to the Emirates to watch Arsenal against Burnley. And, and then Burnley scores, and scores two goals and win. No, but that's what I'm saying. I, I even won one draw, our nil-nil draw. No, it's like, no. to them, even though they went to the game and watched and they had an awful performance, they're not, they don't feel that excitement in it. It's like, oh, we watch, but it, was not, it doesn't top it off. No, it doesn't make you feel And then with England, you good. see that all mm. the time. Yeah. Game after game after game, rubbish performances. The fans are fed up, right? So you um, think he's right to boo them? Well, listen, I wouldn't have booed if boo I was the there, manager, but I can man. understand it. I can understand why they're booing, because mm. with the amount of talent, just on that pitch, just serve up that exactly garbage. Exactly that. You're had enough, man. You know I mean, travel exactly all day. Exactly that. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean? You've got Jude Bellingham, who is, is probably one of the best, in his, is meant to be one of the best right now in the world. La Liga yeah. Player of the Year. Yeah. England um, Premier League Player of the Year. Top goal scorer in the Bundesliga. Mm -hmm. Then top players all over the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. Serving up two games in a row. Absolute, probably the worst performances in the whole of the Euros. Right? The worst games have been the England games. Yeah, most one, boring these games. But one was a win. Rubbish. So what do you think I saw yet? I think that I do. I, I, I think he's. I think well, I think he's an okay manager. I think. Do you have him at Arsenal? No. It won't. <laughs> but no, no, <laughs> but that's, that's not that's not a decision. I think what it is is Southgate is more than just a manager. He's changed the whole culture of the England team. You know. He has, he's done all of that, but I'm telling mm. you, right, if he doesn't put in a better performance in that next game I against think they Slovenia, will. it should be through the gate. You know what I mean? And bring <laughs> Get rid of him, bring in Klopp. Go and get Klopp. Bring even Klopp. even his substitutions didn't yeah. make sense. Even his substitutions. No, I'm fed up with him, man. I've like, had enough. Yeah. I'm not them fans. I've had enough of him now. Yeah, man. Wow. When I see the performances, I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm fed up with that. Even the substitutions. Ali Watkins was an okay substitution. He nearly scored. He nearly scored, exactly. Mm. Mm. But you changed the front three all at once. It's a bit like, what? Mm. Like, change one and then see how that's working, then maybe change the other two, not just change all three at once, because now you're literally putting in a new system into, you're putting three new players into the game yeah, at once in the same terrible. places. For me, mm. it, it didn't make sense. Just anyway, a little run through of our players at the Euros. Mm. Obviously, Ramsdale Aaron, yeah. um, hasn't played yet no. for England. Play but, him up front. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> David Raya hasn't actually played yet for Spain, but Spain, no. are, Spain are looking really, really, really good. Fantastic. Amazing, amazing. William Saliba, what Sat a performance by him. Yeah. He was brilliant the other yeah, night man. against the well, Netherlands. Well, the thing with William, he's just carrying off, he's just carrying on the season. He's, he's, like, he's like, sorry, he's like he's playing with us. And he has to play on the next sheet. side as well. Yeah, he's playing on the left-hand yeah. side. Yeah, the but clean, Gabriel, clean teach him well. Yeah, they weren't, they, they, <laughs> remember, they weren't going to start him. They weren't going to start him. But it, was, it was, it was good for Van Dyke. Van, yeah, yeah. Dyke get, Van Dyke get for watching player. Yeah. <laughs> but the question is, Robbie, yeah, he's brilliant. He's yeah, brilliant. But, but the question is, Robbie, Yardy, why? Why was there no, even I, a doubt I, that I, he's going to play? But I think now they've realised that, you know, quickly realised how good he is. Oh. Uh, Jakob Kivior is, yeah. home, is coming home. Unlucky for right? Poland. Poland Unlucky Jakob. knocked out of the Euros. Yeah. Um, yeah. They've got one more game, but they're out. So mm. um, no more Jakob Kivior. Yeah. Uh, good tournament. Um, good game. The last game for Zinchenko, though. He had an assist. Yes. Nice yes. assist as well in yes. the game. Yep. And Ukraine are still alive in the tournament. So well done, Ukraine. Good um, that was good for him. Jorginho, yep. they suffered a loss. Italy, but they should get through. Yeah. Um, Jorginho still at the... Uh, uh, tournament as well. Yep, yep. Kai Havertz, um, Germany drawing last night, so they topped their group. Played really well. So they're Kai. nicely through. Well and he, done, he had a decent game. One game, Germany. one goal so far in the tournament. Yes. We and really spoke about Rice and Saka. Um, oh, yeah. They really need to put it in um, a performance. Yeah. And then, of course, we've got our boys over in Brazil. They got their Trussard first game coming well. up. 
Yeah. Leandro, uh, yes. Martinelli and... No, you uh, forgot Trossard in yeah. the Euros. Yeah, Leandro yeah, yeah Trossard, Trossard. Did he yeah. play great the other night when no. he came he, on? He only came on. But yeah. um, a good win for Belgium that keeps him yeah. in the tournament you as see, well. You see, so. Lukaku has um, three, three um, goals this Three disallowed. disallowed goals, yeah. Yeah, I know. Kieran Tierney, <laughs> as we know, he picked up a hamstring injury, yeah. so he was out of the tournament. Wish him all um, the best. I'm like, it's got Anyway, him. and as I said, our two boys from Brazil yeah. get their cop at America. Is it two or is it three? Underway. Isn't it three? Two. Gabriel J, Gabriel no, get selected. One. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, it's a shame. Yeah. So there's two. I'm to get, get things together. Yeah, get fit. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you, yeah. it's good news for us. Yeah. Because, you know, with the start that we, the season we've got, yeah. we're going to need a really, we're really need, fit yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabriel Jesus. Yeah, um, yeah, who yeah. is your Boohoo Man of the Week? Boohoo Man of the Week for me, it's not going to be an Arsenal player. <laughs> Obviously, you now you just yeah. buy a show, you yeah. know what I mean? Because Jaka, Jaka actually had yeah. a man of the match performance against well Germany. Well done to him, yeah. You know, but so. this guy, yeah, considering like you know, even though third, his age is thirty-three, it's not that old in terms like, but no. in terms of football, we know it's getting on. Well, but considering, enough, yeah, where his position, the job he's doing, even the fact that he went off, he is in the Saudi league now, which is not considered as very competitive league mm. as some of the others. Mm. N'Golo Kante. Big yeah, him up. I have to, man. What a, I'll, tell yo. you what, I'll tell you, I said it the other day, I'd still sign him, man. Yeah, man. Mm. He I'd was still sign brilliant. Him, you get two seasons out of that guy. Yeah. He's absolutely brilliant, man. Yeah, I would as well. Imagine even Rice in the midfield. That would, oh, you know what I mean? Like, Sometimes I've taken a chance, you know, like, that could be it. The way he's played in this yeah. tournament, like, yeah. he's been France's best player. Yeah. He's Facts. been unbelievable. His Facts. energy, the boy, I mean, to still be doing it at that level. Yeah. Very good. Absolutely oh, outstanding. And that's back to back man, yeah, man yeah. of the match performances. Idiot of the week. <laughs> Idiot of the week. I did want to get to Adidas. <laughs> Why? Adidas? Yeah, man. Why, Why Adidas? Uh, before we before get into it, like, Adidas, yeah, I feel like this season, I'm watching the Euros and I'm like, Every Adidas kit is literally the same. It's just copy and paste, different no, colors. And then, no, wait, hold on, 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 and then I went, I went, I said, let me go check the Arsenal kit for a second. Yeah. And literally, it's the same kit. <laughs> it's like, just give us, I, I'm not upset with what you're doing in Euros. I'm more upset that Arsenal now has the same kit that everybody is wearing. No, but that's always been the case. No, nah, man, and sometimes if you do listen, something listen, a little bit different. Listen, if, you, if you look at all these manufacturers, right, whether it be Adidas, Nike, mm -hmm. Puma, mm -hmm. they'll have almost like a template kit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it's the same, especially on home kit. Away kit's a bit different mm -hmm. because they all, they can try things with away kit, but they'll just have a template of a kit and mm -hmm. that kit will be the same kit Forever. apart from the different colors. So mm. the, the Arsenal kit will be the same as Bayern, but it's just different. I bet it won't be different color codes. I bet your be Bayern kit will be different. You see, you see, the shorts are the same. Like you said to me, look, the, the Jama Jamaica kit. It's the same kit, but guess what? It's the same it's, kit. You see the print in the yellow and and, and the away. Yeah, but it's the same. They have template. some designs in it. Put something in the design, make it just look like it just look the same plain stuff. So I was gonna give them idiot. Actually, actually, <laughs> actually like uh, actually like a Jamaica kit. It's bad. I like the old one. <laughs> right? The uh, old one. But it's the kit. same template. Yeah. They, did, they do it. All of them do it. Nike, all of them. Go, go and look no. at. Uh, go look look in the Euros, look <laughs> at England's kit, no, and man. then look at other countries' kits have got Nike. It's no. the same. No, it's not. It's not. It is. It's not. I guarantee it's not. I'm telling look. you. I'm gonna, look at the Puma kits. They're the same. There's some difference. Like, the home kits. There, there is also some the slight difference in it. There is going to be some slight difference in it, whether it's a, a stripe, a line. They're going to do something, but with, it's just literally the same. It's the color of the kit? No, I'm, I'm talking about Arsenal. Even watch when our away kit comes out. It's going to be the same as the home kit, just the colors are changed around. Not But different. they do that every year. No, I don't they know do, how you no. just spotted this. No. All these manufacturers No, do they it. don't do it every year. because You might get the odd one. That slightly. teddy bear, that teddy bear right there, yeah? yeah. Which kit is that? That was an away kit, though. Exactly. No, but away kits are different. No, I guarantee you. Away I kits are different. Watch, they, watch, you, you, right, but watch. when it's a home kit, mm -hmm. they, most of them just use the same template. I'm telling who, you. Who had our kit last year? Have a look. Who had our kit last year? What? The, the Arsenal kit? With, with the, the gold. All right, have a look at Arsenal's the kit. Yeah. The, the colours oh. may be different, but have a look at Arsenal's kit last yeah. year with that white thing, the way it tapered at the back. Yeah, yeah. Then go and look at some of the other kits that are out. They're all the same. I bet they're I not. Do, I that design. Yeah, I'm telling like you, it seems literally, like I bet li it's not. literally right. you might find an odd one different, but literally all of them had but that sort of... That's what I'm saying. It had that odd way, one way, different. No, colours might be different. No, man. Might have a little bit of slight intricacies, but the actual design 
with the last year's one where it had that remember down the side it had that sort of uh yeah the gold and it had that sort of line right and then it, it, it tapered around trims. the back it had gold mm. trims and then it sort of tapered around the back mm. yeah it's the same may yeah. have that's colors but look at the actual template of the kit Something is the same different you're looking at colors are different yeah the but colors what, are different what, no, this what year. Say, Robbie, yeah with our kit last season right we Shorts e are even, the same. even in the red there was some some kind of imprint in the red right yeah, color, little color. But that's coding. what I said. This season is just literally red. There's no <laughs> red. There's no <laughs> liquor. Give us something uh, different. So we'll be escalating. Yo, as I that's said, that's my feeling. They've been doing this for anyway. years. But yeah. But I'm trying to say they have not made any effort this year. Yeah. They, they, they basically just said, here, take a red plain <laughs> kit. Okay. That's what okay. I feel. All right. Maybe we should get Boohoo Man to make it. Yeah, that's <laughs> wicked. We can't decide. All right. It. Idiot of the week. Either week yeah. is the one and only. Well, I don't even know one and only. I, one and personally, only. like I, I forgot about him until till Declan mm. Rice was James playing. McLean. James McLean. That's what I'm only saying. you and only because the fact that you're saying he's average. Rice is average, he's, he's overrated, all of this is like it's embarrassing. Okay, come on man, this guy, probably that's his worst game I have seen him play in. I can't even Guys have one bad game. He obviously doesn't watch Declan Rice every week. He doesn't. But he, he, he obviously wishes he, he could play like football. Exactly. He, he wishes he could play like Declan Rice. He watch football on the radio. That's why you couldn't All see. All I it. know that guy for throughout his football career is controversy. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> you know, not singing the anthem, things like that. Certain Changing allegiances from right? Northern to I, I from Northern Ireland to Republic. Yeah, well, I, the controversy is all I know him for. And play for I, I don't know him. Well. What I've seen playing on the pitch, he's just a clogger. <laughs> how, you, how dare you come and talk that about no crazy. simple truth how dare you come talking about Declan yeah, that's what I'm right? and I'm not even going on about your controversies because your beliefs are your beliefs yeah, yeah. that's you know, true that's the true. one thing I give him he stands up for his beliefs he does, right? he does. but apart from that as a football we were talking about footballer now you can't hold a candle yeah, man. you cannot hold a candle to Declan Rice yeah. Declan Rice is not overrated he's not overrated Declan Rice produces week in week out in the first game he's one of England's best players He's been consistently good for England, consistently good for his club, Arsenal, and he was consistently good for West Ham. Yep. Well, what have you done? <laughs> when have you been consistently good? You've been consistently good. poor. So shut up, man. You know well, what I mean? You're talking about Declan ab Rice. Absolutely. Behave yourself. And you're talking about controversy, and that's a great point, Robbie, your beliefs are your beliefs, so we'll leave religion there, but the worst thing is the worst thing in his career. Is that he paid for Stoke? That is the worst <laughs> thing in his whole career. Forget about anything else. The fact that he played for Stoke what? underneath <laughs> that dinosaur, that, <laughs> that football caveman, Tony Pulis, yeah. says it all. Says it, you <laughs> played underneath him. I mean, in football terms, that just says it all. You played for I think, oh, you know, the way you're passionate about that, I think it's about time I got into Ask Ty. <laughs> right? Right? It says, uh, question for Ty, ask, ask Tywo. Yes, um, that's me. Let's say that Nigeria, <laughs> let's say for Nigeria to qualify for the World Cup, yep. England, with Declan Rice and Bukayo Saka, yep. have to be knocked out in the round of 16 Euro 2024. Would you gladly take that option or pass? Ooh. Let's see if you truly love Bukayo or Nigeria. Gosh, more. boy. Wow, I'm, well, that's, that, that's a, who's that by, who's that from? That's from... That's a fantastic um, question. Thank you for the question. <laughs> Dong Wan Israel. Wow. 9005. Well, you can't put... No, what are you taking? You can't put any pressure on me. I, obviously, I'd want... It's a hard one. I'd want Nigeria to qualify, but I wouldn't want Bukayo and Declan to be knocked out. So the thing is... We've not qualified before for the World Cup, and I just can't imagine the backlash that would drop on Bukayo and Declan. And, I, and I've seen it where fans still up until this day, and, and if I could cut a long story short, when I was traveling to watch under 16s, people were trying to sing, some Chelsea fans were trying to sing, you let your country down. And I, and I, and I had to explain to them that even though you don't mean it, the racism that was heaped upon Bukayo, Jaden and Marcus you're, you're perpetrating it. I'd have to um, pick us not qualifying because I can't imagine what Did you would say that happen. quarterfinals? No, round of 16. Round of 16. Round yeah, 16. I can't imagine what the so suppose they nonsense... So and then drop out another quarter. Well, but the nonsense that Bukai and Deccan <laughs> would get would be too much. And not get me wrong, I wouldn't like it that we didn't qualify, but we didn't qualify Okay. Before against Ghana, right. so thank you for question. Your question. Mr. Kaplan before. says, "Question for Uncle Ty." Ah, uh, yo, Mr. Considering Kaplan, a lot of gooners like myself sacrifice and travel a lot 
Yes. To London for our games, of which yes. I'll be coming to London every month next season. Oh, fantastic. Will you be, able, will you be willing to accept, and this one for Yardi as well, <laughs> will you be willing to accept some games being played in the US? Also, oh. give your thoughts um, so far on the VAR management of the Euro games. That's been very good, by the way. But that's a, the, the, the key question here. Would you take a game being played in the USA? That's a Premier good. League game. Arsenal Premier League game being played in like the USA. Like what they do for the NFL, right? Yeah, yeah. Do that. Um. That's a great question. And Mr. Kaplan, big him up. Thank you for your question and all your support. All right. And all that. But as, as much as I respect Mr. Kaplan, I, I, ju- I, I don't want to diss any um, overseas American fans, but no, to me, because like, I, think, yeah. I, I don't know if Robbie said that. It's either Robbie or Laurie or both of them said that. Once you have one game, then the half, half the season will be in America. So no, I wouldn't personally. I understand about the overseas market, but I would. I, wouldn't I would say no as well. I, I, I originally I said no is obviously you know the, the club does do its best to make sure the the pre seasons they travel and go to so fans can see the team play. However, I think in a season where you're competing, it's, exactly. it's a bit like that. A that's, competitive it can game. Un- unsettle the team, and especially like exactly. teams that are in Champions League as well. that have to travel different parts of Europe. If then you have to remember, you know, going going stateside is is a different flight as well, different time zones. Yeah, nothing to do with the time zones. I don't think right. so. I just feel like <laughs> and then it takes away it takes yeah, away uh, the competitive. Nah. Go on, well, um, English Premier yeah, League exactly so. should be played in England. One hundred percent simple. So you so no, I wouldn't no. want it played in the US. Okay. However, yeah. I do think in the next five years you could see games being played abroad. Maybe the solution may be, and I'm, this is just, I'm just putting this out there. Mm. You know, the League Cup yes. is getting really, you know, you see teams put out reserve teams, yeah, literally, yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe to revitalise that, yeah. maybe play that. Mm. Not, not, not all of it, but you know, like the later rounds of it. Mm. A bit like what I think in Spain they did that with their Super Cup. They played, uh, was it the semi finals and finals in Saudi? That's right, and that's then right. Yeah, got yeah, a huge yeah, amount of yeah, money yeah, for it and stuff yeah, like that. Maybe yeah. you could Maybe do something from, like yeah, that. Exactly. exactly. With the League Cup, because I just feel that the League Cup needs something to. Maybe. But as far yeah. as the Premier League is concerned, no, stay in, stay and the FA is, Cup's yeah. concerned, Yasser in yeah, England. Yeah. Yasser, oh, they, uh, brilliant. Uh, Yasser means right here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Fantastic. Know. Sorry, Robbie. Right, one more for you. Sorry, Robbie. You said about the VR in um, the Euro so far. Yeah. Well, I thought it was okay until yesterday. I cannot believe that. Scotland got denied a penalty. He didn't even go to VL. Yeah, I thought that was a penalty as well. You know. They're so unlucky. Um, Guna1756 says, yeah, thank question thank for you. Ty. Yeah. And don't let him avoid it, Don Robbie. It, it says, depends right? what it is. He says, would Ty take Spurs winning the treble if it meant that Arsenal won the quadruple the year <laughs> after? <laughs> I would. <laughs> of, yeah, I would. No, of, of course I would. But then the treble would mean the what is it the, the Johnston League. Paint Trophy the oh. Championship and League One yeah of course that's fine of good course answer. I will take that good answer alright we've reached the end of the show today uh, oh, no, Robbie Yardi, before we go are we not going to mess with Jamaica yeah let's mention Jamaica ok no we're not yeah you see right, let's yeah. Make, oh, no, wait a minute wait a minute yeah. hold on. what are you trying to do hold on, hold on. you nearly finished the show without mentioning right. Jamaica no no mention Jamaica watch yourself Go on, mention Jamaica. <laughs> Settle G. <laughs> mention Jamaica. Yeah, go on. Robert, I'm only kidding with you, Robert. No, no, mention Jamaica. No, no, no. Because you know what? We did a watch along to that game, by the yeah. way, over on playback. It was brilliant, right? <laughs> Settle G. We did a watch along to that game. Yeah, yeah. Jamaica played really, really yeah, well. Yeah, no, I'm joking. They, they, I know they were lucky. one nil up. They had their goal disallowed. Yeah, um, right? Mike Michael Antonio. Right? They were playing in a stadium, literally. They were literally playing away. Because yeah, they were playing, I'm, I'm they were joking, playing Mexico man, in Texas, no, right? No, and see. everybody knows that in Texas, like, Half of Texas Jamaica is Mexican, Mexican, right? The whole stadium was Mexican, literally, apart from a few Jamaicans mm. there. Mm. And they, I thought they made a great account, and, it, and the game was tight, and, mm. the, and, and it was a 1-0. And mm. they had a goal. Hold on, let me see, whilst you're running up your mouth, you know what I want to say? And they had a goal this alone. Look at him, look at him. Nah. Look at him. Um, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not, you was going to end it by saying it, I'm just kidding. I won't be here next week, Monday. Why? I'm, I'm going over there to watch the Jamaica game next Sunday. Against? Um, Venezuela. Oh, okay, wicked. So I'm gonna go. They're a good team, Venezuela. Yeah, they <laughs> won the game, but you know, 
we just I, I <laughs> hope we go there and I see a win. That's what I'm bringing my son. So well, hopefully, hopefully I'm, no, we I'm joking. I thought you'd make him unlucky. One nil's not bad because Mexico are a good team. I'm just trying to find out no, the last, wait, wait. Last. What, what are you looking for? Still, still <laughs> last, but you know we. Obviously, we, we, Cesar we have, G for ages, man. Cecil G. We're still in it. We're still in it. There's still two more games right. to go. Cecil. We help for the um theme game. Sorry, right. Cecil G. Mexico are ranked. When? I'm trying to find out where they're ranking in the world. No, Mexico are good, the, the man. Venezuela. No, no, no. You're just running up your mouth. I'm not running up my mouth. So right. I can't joke with you. Right. Then. Mexico are ranked 15th in the world, right? Okay. And we lost to them. Let's see where Benny. <laughs> are you lost to them? Let's see where Benny, <laughs> who beat you. <laughs> 15th in the world. They're the 15th best. Yeah, Bro, why that, are you getting annoyed? That's, that's good, so, so I'm not annoyed. So I can't, you are annoyed, so I can't mention it then. You were the one saying to me, oh yeah, we're going to get better, so I can't mention it again. Look at Yali laughing. You was going to end the show with what we're talking about. Right. So I can't Benin mention it again. Benin are rated 91. Are they? Yeah. Oh, 99. Mexico are rated 15th, though, in is the there not world. Two teams, Benny. Is there Benin? Is there two Benin? There's Benin Republic. I don't what, know if there's No, no. One. Benin, Benin yeah. are it's rated Benin 91 okay. in the world. Okay. Right? Okay. Mexico are rated 15th. Okay, so it's all right to lose then. Jamaica, where Jamaica ranks? 51st. Jamaica so ranks 51st. So it's, right, so it's, so it's all right to lose, but we game? weren't expected to yeah. win that game. You're <laughs> playing against <laughs> Benin. Look, we're so, in Nigeria. So I can't, so Robbie, so wait I can't. Minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Nigeria must be more 30 at least, something. At least, at least I got Maybe you. Maybe even 20 something. <laughs> I got you. I got Robbie now, man. Look at Robbie. Nigeria Robbie rated in the world 38th. See? 30th. They've dropped to 38th, by the way, because of the disappointing form. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so what? And you played a team ranked 91st in the world and you yeah. lost. And so, so and you're going to come in there, you've got to cheat to come in there and tell me about Jamaica. But hold on, so I can't play the team. I can't miss a they're, rank, they're ranked 51st and they're playing a team ranked 15th in so, the world. A powerhouse, right, in the, like, with support, right? <laughs> and it was a 1 0 close game, 1 0 game in which they had a goal disallowed, which would have made them. And that, and that goal was absolutely marginal. Was right? it? Absolutely, Absolutely marginal, right? Oh, that's interesting. You got the cheat to come in and <laughs> So I can't mention it, right? So I can't mention it then. Uh, he you don't worry about us, bro. Look at you. Worry about your own but, team. But, Robert, you worry about us, though, innit? Look at you. I don't worry about you, What happened? What happened to you, imagine? So, Wait, see, I got so, guy. so you didn't message me then? You didn't huh? message me. Why did you message me then? No, because that's. Yeah, it. you see, look no, at you. Know yeah, you, see, you, you see? You see? know why I messaged him that day? Because he came in the studio, right? He had all these Nigeria colours and he goes, big game tonight, man. Yeah? Yeah, man. Benny, man, but easy, easy. I never said no. So then when I messaged him, I'm like, yo, bro, what to Benny? I mean, you said it was an easy game. I tried it. I never said that. You did. We have to beat Benny. Did you think that would be an easy game? No, of course not. Be honest. You don't underestimate Be anybody, honest. no. no. When you're playing next. You don't underestimate nice. when you're playing In next. In 2025. Because no, it's when you're playing next. 2025. You not have no more games this year? No, no. That's it. Thank God. Really yeah, Nigeria really has Michael. no more games this year? No, no. Listen, and, and, and not no. only that, he's like, you know, half of the players they want to play. No, not Robbie. He's you sat your manager, isn't he? For needy, for needy yeah, game, after it. two weeks, which is ridiculous. After two weeks? It's ridiculous, or two months. It's, un, it's, uh, it's unfair. Listen, but we're out of here, man. Thank you very much for watching yeah, the show today. Everyone. Scan the QR code <laughs> or use questions. the code AFTV10 <laughs> yeah. to get an additional 10% <laughs> off all I of the Boo Man clothing. Great stuff for the summer. Guys, Thanks for watching. Thanks, come. Yardi. <laughs> Thanks to Ty. Thanks, Thanks for you guys. And we'll yeah, see you, you next week. Peace. Good luck to all our players in their teams all over the world.